Hey guys, so today's video is actually just kind of like a short filler video. I mean, kind of short, but like not really because it's a lot of stuff, but still. Um, it's not really a dye video or a repaint video, which I'm currently working on the repaint video. I just can't repaint like a whole lot all at once because... Okay, so if you've been following along, two months ago, the day after Thanksgiving, I developed Bell's Palsy, which is a type of facial paralysis where one half of your face just literally quits working. Um, it's usually due to like a really badly inflamed nerve. It happens, like they don't, they don't even really know why it happens, but if you don't get a lot of sleep and you're really stressed out all the time, your immune system drops and makes you more susceptible apparently. Um, and as you guys know, like I was really, I was getting like no sleep. There were days where I was getting like 11 minutes of sleep or 15 minutes of sleep or, you know, at very most like two hours of sleep. So I really was kind of very unhealthy, um, et cetera. I've since changed a lot of my scheduling, a lot of my lifestyle with the help of my family who realized I really was taking on too much. So they very much stepped up and, you know, took over a lot for me. Um, but so I'm at that two month mark. The doctor said it's normally like three, three and a half before you start to see like most people are back to normal by then or see like most improved, like 90% or more improvement. Um, so I still have like a month to go. So like I said, this eye doesn't blink. Um, my mouth works mostly now, but like my face still sags like a whole lot. Um, my eyelid still sags. So like my eyebrow doesn't sit even, stuff like that. Well, not that they were even anyway, but yeah, so I still have like a lot of that. So you guys really haven't seen me on video since I've gotten sick because like it's just really embarrassing, especially when I couldn't move my mouth. Um, and it's still really embarrassing, but I'm trying to just be brave and like get over it, like suck it up. I'm 41 at this point. If I'm that concerned about what people on the internet think about me, what am I even doing with my life? Am I right? So <laughs> moving on to things you guys do care about. Um, so because I've only done like one or two dyes and the last I did if you guys have followed on my Instagram was Blonde Daphne which hold on a second up oh, here we go all right I didn't actually film this dye because I was like I don't even know it's gonna come out well and I've got like 15 minutes before bedtime because I have a bedtime now for the most part so I was like I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it and see how it turns out so actually I took uh Rit Coral and you kind of see a little peachiness in it in this light but like in person it just looks whitish blonde you don't really see a lot of the peachy in it but i took um rit coral and i just did like a sink bath in it switched her around until it turned blonde and then i took emerald and just did a sink bath of that and dipped her in and then i pick up her end and kind of let the water drain just slightly downward just to give it that like nice kind of blended gradient ombre versus like that hard line ombre that we get a lot of times we just dip so that's what that was other than that i haven't really dyed anything lately but i've been getting a lot of comments and likes and stuff on old facebook group posts of like the stuff that i've dyed and again so many people are like wait i see your rainbow high but is that monster high above them or i see your bobby extra but i see you also have omgs or you have this line or that line so i'm actually going to i'm currently cleaning my room because I have way too many stuffed animals and I'm trying to kind of figure out like how to rearrange them while they're up and out of the way I was like you know what I'm bringing the step ladder and I'll give everybody a quick tour um so that's what sorry you can hear sausage at the door anytime I start filming he suddenly wants in but if I try to shut the door so that like you can't hear everybody else in the house talking then he suddenly wants out so if you hear that like little rubbing noise that's him but anyway so um i'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of like my entire doll room it's gonna be mostly close up because the room is still a mess um i really kind of want to rearrange the furniture and move stuff around but it's also still a really small room as i've mentioned before bear owned his house when we got together and i didn't i was still renting to own um so it just made more sense for me to move in with him but his house was like literally half the size or less of the house I was living in but it was also in better shape and needed less um like renovation so it balanced out because he actually had heat <laughs> that's a big one um but yeah so my dolls are kind of cramped I'm always running out of room recently I decided that I was going to um take some of my monster hide down and go ahead and sell some more of them. I don't know how I feel about Monster High 2022. 
if you guys have seen the leaks, um, I do think that I'll probably be investing in Draculauras. I'm not even ashamed to admit it. I, I think that I, I still struggle with Monster High ever since, you know, the whole, like, collector thing where they had it, like, basically where bots got all of them and then they were immediately, like, two and three hundred dollars and, like, I'm not, I like Monster High, but if I'm gonna spend three hundred dollars on a doll, it's gonna be a BJD or maybe a Pulip. It's not gonna be a, a fifty dollar American doll that I could have gotten for a better price, but bots got them first. So, but that's just me. I do totally respect everybody who loved them so much and, and really wanted to get them and did have to pay scalpers to get them. Like, you, I feel really bad for you guys because it, it really does suck. And for those people who really, really wanted them, there is no shame in that game. You do what you gotta do. It sucks. I hate supporting scalpers. I don't necessarily agree with it, but I understand when that's the only road you have, so I'm not gonna knock it. It's personally not affordable to me just because, like, I shouldn't say that. It's not that I couldn't afford it, it's that I refuse to. Like, if I had, you know, like three, four, five hundred dollars, even then, I don't know that I'd spend it on a doll at all. I'd probably go and get some tattoos or who knows anyway enough of that so i'm going to give you guys a tour i'm going to start with the smaller shelves on the fall uh the far wall um there's three of those and they all just kind of have like smaller lines and then starting from the doorway all the way around um on the top shelf are, are monster high dolls and then this side we have rainbow high that side we have omgs and some barbie extras and i think some nana nas which again I don't collect those. I am not going to start collecting those. I swear. I just happened to find some on sale and they were kind of cute. Um, we'll see how long that lasts. Um, but right now, the only rainbow highs I'm missing are the Pacific Coast dolls that have just come out. I finally got Marissa's in the mail, you guys. If you saw it on Instagram, hallelujah. I took the risk of ordering online, which honestly, I've been putting off for like a really long time because I don't like ordering online with I mean, really before now, I didn't mind OMGs because you didn't know what you were going to get whether you went to the store or online. I put it off on Rainbow High because the defects are getting so bad, I'd really rather be able to see it in person and do my best to pick. Sorry, I've got this like, um, posture brace on and I always have to adjust it because it always feels like, I don't know, they're not really comfortable. But um, yeah, so I ended up getting them online anyway though because I was like, Marissa's just never come to my store at this point, like it's been months, I give up. I'll just I'll just go ahead and order them. Um, she's really gorgeous. I only recently got her and got to open her, and then we had these huge snow days. Everybody was home, so I really haven't been able to just sit down and like enjoy her. Um, so I, I can't give you my thoughts on that just yet. But let's go ahead and get this tour started because we're already like way far in. Okay, you guys. So starting with my smallest shelf, or well, the shelf on the smallest wall. Technically, if you go past my closet. My Sanrio dolls over there are on the smallest shelf, but you can also see where Sausage pulled down my curtains because he's a really chunky boy and pulled them straight out of the wall and I just never put them back up. So thank goodness we have blinds. All right, so on this wall, I have my Ever After High collection. Um, I decided not terribly long ago, like maybe last year or year before last, I really only wanted one of each character. So I sold off all the rest of them and just kept my favorite of each one. Jillian is actually really new. I'm still missing Nina Thumble, Foxanne from the Fairies, and like a couple of others. Actually, um, there, there are some that I have two of. I have two Ravens and I have two of the, um, I don't even remember her name, shoot. The Swan Girl, uh, Duchess, Duchess Swan. Um, and then, yeah, just one of everybody else. I will probably end up with two Maddies because there's another one I really, really want as well. Um, but so there are those. And then down here we have all the fail fixes, and including their variants. And most of them are dyed so that they all kind of at least look different. And then sitting below them. Okay, so these little guys, um, I can't remember. I think they're called like Nom Noms or something like that. Um, and the bodies are boxy girls and the person who made these I discovered on Instagram and I will link them down below I've linked them before these guys are of every doll I bought last year my hands-down favorite thing that I bought 
Um, I, honestly, they had like two other different ones. I think peanut butter and jelly, and I wish I had gotten them. But at the time, I was saving up for vacation and like didn't really have the money, and they sold out pretty fast. All right, and then I have these Pinky Coopers. I still need ginger, and I can't remember what the other one's name is, the brown one. Um, and then I have this one Enchantimal with wild hair that I need to fix. Um, I plan on taking her little bear nose off because it's actually really, really creepy. Um, but I got her in a lot, and I really only kept her because she was a bear, and I collect bear stuff. All right, and you can see the little fail fix pets kind of peeking out from behind everything. All right, and then I have the Lala Loopsy Girls. There were only six that I ever wanted. I'm still missing Bee's clothes and shoes because I got her second hand. And then I've got the Minis, Minnie Mouses. I just started collecting these last year. Um, there's still quite a few that I want to get, but I kind of always forget about them, honestly. And then these are Hujo, Freya, and Frere. They're little mini BJD cats. I've had them for over 10 years now and honestly still haven't given them face-ups because I suck. All right, you guys. So then we have our Wild Hearts crew girls. I was seriously in shock that these girls did not do better. They're absolutely gorgeous. They came in different body variants, including like a genuinely plus size girl, like not just like, oh, she's kind of thick, but like an actual, like really beautiful plus size girl. This line didn't even get like a second one. It made me really, really sad. Then we have Star Darlings. These guys, I only have two of, but I still want the pink one and the blue one. They're really cute. My only complaint is you can't really sit them down without them spreading their legs. <laughs> So they're really awkward in dresses. Okay, you guys. And then we have Bratzillas. I'm missing the three princesses, which are, they're kind of pricey right now, but I might try to still go back and get them whenever there's like a doll lull or whatever. But I also still really want all the glow-in-the-dark ones from like the swim line because I kind of am in love with glow-in-the-dark stuff. All right, you guys. And then we have these, which are the Hair Amazing Hair Dorables. Um, our hair adorable hair amazing dolls. I can't even, I don't even know which one it is. I don't have the three newest ones that just came out, like the Kaleidoscope Prism set or whatever. But I do have the prom set and this other set. I redress all of my dolls as like a weird way of bonding with them. But in the end, I might just put them all back in their original clothes. Alright, and then I have two Moxie Teens, which honestly I'd love to get more of, but they're very, very pricey on eBay. And then I have the collector mini down here just because she doesn't really fit on the other shelf. Okay, you guys, so this is where it gets interesting because these are actually up near the ceiling. Um, my dresser is about four feet tall and then we have a huge, huge television. Um, so these are kind of above that just so I could see them. It's so tall though that I literally have to stand on a step stool to be able to reach them. So as you can see, My shelves pretty much go almost all the way around the room, um, except for where there are windows and doors. And the majority of that, honestly, is Monster High. They're smaller, so they fit better. Um, we have my all-time favorite. This is the Dracula that started it all. She was my very first Monster High doll, my very first Dracula doll, all of it. I never got the one that was like 15 inches, though, because she always looked like she was rolling her eyes in the back of her head. At one point I wanted all the Draculas, but honestly, most Monster High dolls kind of look the same. So I have just my favorite ones. She's got her little sister, Frangelica. She's got her wonderful boyfriend, Claude. He's my favorite Monster High boy. Then you've got the Claudines and the little siblings for those. Um, I'm actually missing, I have wave one of everybody except for Claudine. I actually just got her in the mail today. My original one had such severe wonk that I just like could not stand to look at her anymore. Let's be honest. So a lot of them, it was really hard to decide what to part with and what to keep. I've actually paired back because at one point I had almost every Monster High doll available. All right, and then you have, of course, her beautiful sisters, which is, um, what is it, I think, I don't even remember their names, Howling and I don't remember the older sister's name. And then you have Frankie. Sorry guys, every couple of feet I actually have to climb down and then move the stepladder down some. 
All right, so we have Frankie's. A lot of the ones I got were the, um, I have some of the reboots. I have a lot of the originals. But when I sold them off, I sold off a lot more of the originals than the reboots because honestly, as much as people complained about the reboots, there were a lot of things about them that I really liked better. All right, you have Laguna, Gil, Heath, Holt, Jackson, um, Slomo, my Golia collection. Deuce and Cleo. Cleo was always one of the ones where I really liked the reboot better because her eyes were less likely to be wonky. Um, so, and then we have some Nephras. I did sell one of those, which was the Boo York one, but I kind of want her back because I really do miss her, like, coppery colored tinsel. Um, and then we have Spectra and Abby, which two of my favorite characters. Um, I don't really like Spectra's voice, honestly, but I think the doll is probably one of the most beautiful out of all of them. We have Torlai, the Werecat twins, which I don't actually have any of the more original Werecat twins. All of mine are modified and have the white strip removed from their face. I need to get some that don't, but anyway, here's Operetta, Amanita, um, I think her name's like Hilda? I don't even remember. All right, at this point, guys, I start getting like really confused on their names because I was like more about buying and less about getting attached, but I do believe it's Finnegan and jane and yeah you know what i'm sure you guys know who they are probably better than i do at this point so the only custom because i used to make custom rainbow high dolls and conjoined twins the only ones i have are my conjoined twin rebecca's all of the rest of them i did sell off i made her dress i did all of her hair kind of did her makeup and everything i oh my goodness i just realized there is a venus that is totally flashing you guys sorry about that some of the monster high clothes were really i mean these are tiny dolls and they're very thin so their clothes are shown like sewn very tiny and honestly like sometimes they're kind of flashers all right you guys so yeah rebecca rochelle and then oh you know what i do have this custom sylvie from the reboot so that we got the electrified version but they never made a regular version and i actually commissioned someone to do a reboot on one so that i could have her like semi-regular version all right and then you've got of course monica and ari and poor poor dracula who was done so dirty so incredibly dirty um and then we go into like uh the why do ghouls fall in love movie that like scarus movie so all of them the movie dolls are kind of grouped together by what movie they were in scarus um i don't even know all of them hauntleywood or whatever it is like you, you get the drift and i will say that actually this um claw venus is kind of a semi-custom just because i removed her eyeshadow because it was ugly and I never finished fixing it, so we're, we're working on that right now. And again, you know, we have more movie dolls. It goes down into the, um, I guess, what are they called? The Creator Monsters. They're kind of all squished in a corner. And then we have the big girls, which honestly, I kind of don't even want anymore. I need to put Frankie back in her. I need to put them all just back in their original clothes so that I can figure out what to do with them. They would just cost too much to ship. And you can see Flora there because I'm a huge Animal Crossing fan. All right, and then over here, we have my two Pulips. We have Pulip Bonita. And then we have Pulip Lala. Both of them are on a after high bodies with animal eye chips. And then I, I have like multiple rows of pop figures up here. I don't really hardcore collect them, but I do like some of them. The pop figure shelf could be used for dolls, but I just don't have any room for pop figures. All right, so the next shelf down, we have all of my LOL OMGs, which are all like redressed, restyled, etc. But I still have most all of their original clothes. I do have some customs kind of squished over here in the corner, which is, oh, I had gotten the swag and she ended up having like her braids almost all undone and her hair was kind of stained and whatnot. So I went ahead and she was missing stuff. So I actually had to take out plugs from the back to plug into the front but I ended up dyeing her like a blue ombre Ugh. sorry that's the thing when I pick them up and sit them back down their hair gets mushed and then I have this sweets that has half mint half purple hair 
Oh, goodness, you guys. Okay, so of course the newer girls. Oh, and this one's a custom as well. It's just an uptown with like lavender and um, like her little white streak in her hair is kind of an aqua blue. Sorry, I can finally get off the stepladder and quit having to move it around because I'm like so short. Like I'm not even that short. I'm like 5'7". And this stuff is all too high for me. And you can see little holes in my wall because I like thumbtack them so they'd stand up. So that's what that's about. But I'm just going to fill all of that and repaint it here soon when I paint all the shelves in the spring. So I have the tweens. And then this is like my newest one that I just dyed. And it's just a pop BB and her hair is orange instead of, instead of yellow now. I haven't, I got this girl like a week ago or so. Haven't opened her yet. I have these not on Oz, but like they can't sit down. Like their legs just spread out and they cannot sit down proper and it drives me nuts. Okay, and then I have the Barbie extras. And then I have these boards right here to keep Sophie from getting up on the shelf. You can see like he bites them, claws them, but it keeps him from walking across the doll shelves and flipping them off the shelves. Um, I have some mini La La Loopsies around, and then I have my Rainbow High collection. So we have Sunny, Poppy, Ruby, Violet, Skylar, and Jade. And then, of course, we have Amaya and Avery. Well, Avery and Amaya. Um, just to round out Series 1, we go into the Cheer Series, which again, Sunny, Poppy, Ruby, Violet, Skylar, Jade. Then we have series two with Karma, Crystal, and Amaya series two, which is seems to be most people's least favorite Amaya. The shelf below that contains River and Stella and Bella, which, you know, I've got my 10 Bella army, and honestly, with the new Bella coming out for Pacific Coast, that's going to grow. Then we have Kaya, we have the twins, Laurel and Holly. And we've got my Jets, which one of them is still needing to be dyed. I just haven't gotten around to it yet because I liked her braids and didn't want to take them out. Then we have our Winter Break Girls, Sunny, Poppy, Ruby, Violet, Skylar, and Jade. And then we have Cheryl, which I need two Cheryls still. Um, Georgia. We have Daria. Emmy, which I still need another Emmy, and I still need another Georgia. And then we have Gabriella, and we have the Daphnes. On the last shelf, we have the Rockstar Girls, which I still need to get doubles of so I can dye them. My Marissa's, which finally came in. The fact that her hair is a mess is a test to the fact that she was just plopped on my desk because I haven't had time to mess with her. Um, we have Brianna, and we have Robin. Alright, I started to dye this other Marissa, so that's another reason she's kind of plopped. We have the girls that are about to be for sale on my Instagram. And then we have my super messy desk. Um, we have a Jade that's about to get dyed. A Sunny that someone sent me. They accidentally broke her hands off. I did get the wrist pieces out. I mean, they'd already dyed her hair this really beautiful, like, purpley, bluish, gray i don't even know it's really really pretty but um so they basically gave her to me so i could salvage her eyes and any other parts that i could salvage but i think i might do something with her and fix her up for them um we've got the closet which is usually what i shoot in front of i've got my elgato hd 60s plus box down there still because i still need to install the software so i can start recording um animal crossing videos all right, so I just got this, well, it, and then this is the re-release Claudine, so it's not the original Series 1, as you could probably tell, and I still got to get her some arms and find her original outfit, which is somewhere in my junk drawer desk, um, and then I've got this Poppy that I had dyed, and she was supposed to be for sale, but then I kind of fell in love with her, and now I might keep her. And, of course, I have Super Large Maya, who I still have not deboxed yet. So, I really just wanted to make this video really quickly. Um, before I started selling off more Monster High dolls, so you could see all the ones I have. And honestly, again, this is like half of the ones I had at the beginning of last year. Um, at the beginning of 2021, I decided that like I really wanted to cut back a whole lot. I wanted to fit them just on the top shelves on this side because they were kind of where the Ever After High and everything else is too. 
um in order to have room for a lot of the smaller lines are starting to collect like the mini mouses and the hair amazing dolls and the the fail fix um so i ended up selling off probably like half of my monster highs at that point um probably well no not quite half because i think i sold off like 80 to 100 of them um i still had i think all together like 350 close to 400 at that time um so after I sold that like 80 to 100, obviously I had quite a bit less, closer to like 250-ish. Um, so I'd really like to honestly, <sighs> ideally I would love to take it down to just one of each character, just the like original of each one, like the first one released. But I know that I would never be able to work that out because I love all my Draculores, I'm probably never getting rid of those. And most of them that I've kept, I always do that thing where I'm like, okay, but... This is a Claudine, but she's purple or gray. Or you know, I did actually end up selling the um, the Cirque du Freak one, even though she was gray, just because I really wasn't that attached to her. But you know, or or this this Laguna has dark blue skin instead of light blue, or this one has a different color lip than usual, or different color hair streak than usual. Honestly, I need to kind of break that down because it. I mean, I'm just not. I don't want to be a doll hoarder, I want to be a doll collector, but I want to collect the things I love because truthfully, if I died tomorrow, God forbid, knock on wood, if I died tomorrow, um, my family wouldn't know what to do with all of this. Like, it would honestly just be a struggle for them. They'd probably box most of it up and give it to Goodwill or they'd have to sit there and hunt on eBay and try to figure out which doll was which and, and how much they were worth. I just don't want that for them, honestly. Like, I'm not trying to be that kind of person. So I do plan on paring down a lot. A lot of it is also because Rainbow High has kind of taken over my life. They're my favorite thing. I am way more attached to them than I am to Monster High. Monster High I still love because they got me through a really rough time in my life. But Rainbow High, I started collecting after I became a happy person. And so there's like a different attachment to them. There's this attachment of me, you know, growing, becoming who I wanted to be, not being angry and sad and frustrated, not being stuck in a loveless marriage, not having a rough life. All of those things, I still kind of look at Monster High and that's what I see was this this very bad time in my life. And I don't really want a lot of reminders of that around. I recently let go of all of my social media from that time of the year. My website I'm letting go of um, next month when it's due to be renewed. I'm just trying to get rid of like all of the... All of the things that reminded me of who I was before I became who I am now. So that's definitely a thing if you think you might want to buy dolls. If you just want to keep an eye out for doll pictures, follow me on Instagram. I'll drop that down below. If you enjoy videos and you want to see more of them, I do tons of dive videos, tons of unboxings, all kinds of other stuff. Tell me what you want to see more of, less of, etc. In the comments, like, subscribe, follow, all of that stuff. And I will see you guys next week.